at the industry of uh, byproducts of fuel and petrol and we're basically looking at the interaction of multi-market contacts, cartels and mergers. In particular we're trying to answer whether mergers can facilitate collusion when you have multi-market contracts in the sector of uh, byproducts of fuel. So you see all this interaction between BP, Shell, Repsol, that they, they either merge while they're in a cartel agreement or they merge afterwards and we're trying to see how you can use a merger as a strategic device. So the idea is that you can use it before the cartel is reported, so once you enter a collusive agreement, if you want to strengthen the relationship in the cartel, if you think the other firm is going to report the cartel to the authorities, or um, you can merge after if you've been caught for a collusion and you just want to continue a collusive behavior or a relationship that's spurred from collusive behavior. So you see all this interaction between the firms in the industry byproduct or in the fuel byproducts industry and they collude, they get caught, they collude again, they merge and there's all these behaviours and this interaction between all the same firms. So one policy recommendation could be to maybe be stricter with merger notifications or not allowing all mergers in firms that have been part of a cartel that have been caught. Or if you don't want to be as strict, maybe don't allow repeat offenders in the fuel industry to merge.